Hi, my name is Kun Shankar and in this video, we would be looking into how advanced charts can be created in Tableau. Tableau is a great visualization tool. This is often what we hear when we attend a Tableau conference or a Tableau workshop or talk to someone who is very much aligned to Tableau. But the ease of its usage can only be realized when it is used seamlessly for creating sophisticated charts. What we are going to focus in this short video is the ways we can create attractive charts in Tableau. We will start with a donut chart and then move into creating what few call as a lollipop chart and then a bar and bar chart followed by a barbell chart and finally we will see how to fine tune an area chart in Tableau to develop a person stacked area chart. I'm connecting to the Superstore data source, selecting Sales, Control, Category, going to Show Me, clicking on the pie chart, changing the view, and then I'm creating a placeholder with minimum of zero, minimum bracket zero, enter. Control, and I'm dragging and dropping it to create a duplicate. Now we are able to see two pie charts. I'm going to the bottom pie chart, changing it into circle and removing the color and the size out of it. I'm going to make this as a dual axis. This is done and I'm going to the upper pie chart and changing the size. Let me increase it a little further, a little more. I'm coming to the bottom pie chart and I'm adjusting the size to form the donut. Right, I'm changing the color to white and that's it. Now, I wanted to remove the axis headers, right click, remove show header. I'm doing the same here. Now we need to remove this line, format, format lines and remove the zero lines. That's it. Now I want to put some data label. Click on label, show mark labels. Now I want it to be the category instead of a number. I drag category into label. That's it. Let's double click on sales. We have a single bar, double click on subcategory. We have a vertical bar. I'm changing it to horizontal, changing the view to entire. I'm clicking on sales, control, duplicating it. Now I'm coming to the second sales measure and changing it into a circle and then go back to the column and make it as a dual axis. Then I need to go back to the first sales again and make it as a bar again. Now I'm reducing the size of the bar just to be as a line and then I'm changing the size of the circle. That's it. Let's double click on subcategory and sales we will have a text now we will go into show me create a bar graph and change the size to the entire view now i'm pulling the order date and dropping it into color so we will see year wise categories say i want to compare between 2016 and 2019 and let me remove 2017 and 18 let me exclude it right click exclude now we are able to see the graph for 2016-19 drag the color and drop it into size now I want to change this order I want 2019 to be inside 2016 so let me change the order up here right. now we got it now let me go to analyze stack marks and off it that's it Let's double click on subcategory. Now on sales, we are able to see the table. Double click on order date and we are seeing year wise data. Click on year and make it as a filter. Filter out only for 2018 and 19. Click OK. Show me, change it into a bar. We are able to see two horizontal bars. Make it into entire view. Now drag and drop the year into colors. You are able to see two colors now. Now change this bar into a circle and then go back, duplicate the sales by pressing Ctrl. Now go to the second sales measure and change it into a line. Right Now drag the year from 
color to path right now just change it into a dual axis and then go down synchronize axis again click it back move marks to front just to make sure the circle is at the front let's double click on sales and then on order date we are able to see a line at year level let's change the level of detail to month change the view to entire now let's duplicate sales pressing the control key now change the view into an area graph go to the sales measure at the bottom and then change it into a line and then i go to the sales measure at the top and then change the opacity i reduce the opacity to make it a little dimmer and then go to sales measure make it dual axis and right click synchronize axis that's it this is one way of showing area graph now let's clear it let's go back double click sales double click uh, say order date again make it into month we have the same graph again entire view then pull the region into your color you will see a lot of lines make it into area graph and then go into sales go to quick table calculations and make it into percentage of total again go into sales and then make it compute using region that's all thank you very much for your time and attention stay connected by subscribing my channel to dive into more details and learn more together please give a thumbs up and share if you have liked this video also please comment below for any questions in this video and i will do my best to help you guys out